there, Celestial Chronicles family. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most awe-inspiring passages in the Bible, Isaiah 6 verses 1 to 7. This passage takes us right into the heart of the heavenly realms, giving us a glimpse of God's glory and the incredible beings known as the Seraphim. We'll explore the nature and essence of the Seraphim, what their appearance and actions reveal about God, and how this vision can impact our own lives. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community for more insightful explorations of scripture and spiritual insights. Now, let's jump into the heavenly vision of Isaiah and uncover the profound lessons it holds for us. Main Content In the year that King Isaiah died, Isaiah saw the Lord sitting on a high and exalted throne, with his robe filling the temple. This vision is both majestic and overwhelming. Imagine the scene, the temple, a place of worship and reverence, now filled with the presence of God himself, his majesty spilling over every corner. Above the throne stood the seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. These seraphim, fiery and radiant, call out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. What does this vision teach us about God and the seraphim? Let's break it down. 1. The Radiance of the Seraphim The term, seraphim, translates to, fiery ones, or, burning ones. This isn't just about their appearance but also their intense passion and zeal for worship. Their very presence reflects the purity and fervor with which they worship God. This burning zeal is something we can all aspire to in our own worship. How can we cultivate a heart that burns with the same passion for God? 2. The Symbolism of the Six Wings the seraphim's six wings each serve a purpose. With two wings, they cover their faces, showing reverence and awe before God's holiness. Even these holy beings shield themselves from the intense glory of God, acknowledging His unparalleled greatness. With another pair of wings, they cover their feet, symbolizing humility and the desire to present nothing impure before the Lord. The final pair of wings are for flight, indicating their readiness and eagerness to serve God at any moment. What can we learn from their posture and attitude? How can we show reverence and humility in our daily lives, and how can we be more ready to serve God? 3. The cry of, Holy, Holy, Holy. The Seraphim's declaration, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of His glory, emphasizes God's supreme holiness. The repetition of, Holy, three times underscores the completeness and perfection of God's holiness. This isn't just a casual statement, it's a profound truth that the seraphim proclaim constantly. Their cry shakes the very foundations of the temple, filling it with smoke, symbolizing God's powerful presence. How often do we reflect on God's holiness? Do we recognize the significance of His perfection and how it shapes our understanding of everything else about Him? Isaiah's Transformation, A Deeper Look at Cleansing and Grace the passage describing Isaiah's response to the divine vision in Isaiah 6 is a powerful illustration of human humility encountering God's overwhelming grace. Let's delve deeper into this transformative experience and explore its meaning for us. Isaiah's Moment of Truth The majestic presence of God fills the temple, leaving Isaiah utterly undone. His initial reaction is one of despair. He recognizes his own limitations, his unclean lips representing the imperfection of his words and actions. This self-awareness is crucial. Only by acknowledging our shortcomings can we truly appreciate the gift of God's forgiveness. The burning coal and the cleansing fire. The appearance of the seraphim with the live coal is symbolic on multiple levels. Fire is often used in the Bible to represent purification. As the coal touches Isaiah's lips, it signifies the burning away of his sin and the cleansing power of God's grace. This is not a punishment, but a transformative act that prepares him for service. From despair to acceptance. The seraphim's declaration, your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged, marks a turning point. Despair gives way to acceptance. Isaiah is no longer focused on his own unworthiness, but on the transformative power of God's presence. He is ready to answer the call, whom shall I send, and who will go for us? What does cleansing and preparation mean for us? Isaiah's experience offers valuable insights for our own spiritual journeys. Here's how it translates to our lives. Recognizing our flaws, the first step is acknowledging our imperfections. We all make mistakes and fall short. Just like Isaiah, we need to confront our limitations with humility. Seeking God's grace, realizing our shortcomings shouldn't lead to despair. It should open us up to God's grace. Prayer, reflection, and repentance are ways to invite God's cleansing presence into our lives. 
Transformation through grace, God's grace is not just about forgiveness, it's about transformation. Just as the coal purified Isaiah, God's grace has the power to transform us into better versions of ourselves. Empowered for service, cleansing and preparation are not ends in themselves. They equip us to serve God's purpose. Like Isaiah, we are called to use our gifts and talents to make a difference in the world. Embracing God's grace in our lives. Experiencing God's grace is a continuous process. Here are some ways to cultivate it. Daily prayer, talking to God regularly opens our hearts to His presence and allows Him to work in our lives. Gratitude, recognizing and appreciating God's blessings fosters a sense of humility and receptivity to His grace. Serving others, helping those in need is a tangible way to express our gratitude for God's grace and share it with others. Seeking forgiveness, when we make mistakes, seeking God's forgiveness allows us to move forward, free from the burden of guilt. By following these steps and reflecting on Isaiah's experience, we can open ourselves to the transformative power of God's grace and live lives that are pleasing to Him. 5. Lessons from the Seraphim for our lives. The Seraphim's constant worship and their attributes teach us several important lessons. Continuous worship, the Seraphim worship God endlessly, showing that true worship isn't just an occasional activity but a constant state of being. How can we incorporate worship into our daily lives, beyond just Sundays? Humility and reverence, despite their exalted status, the Seraphim exhibit deep humility and respect before God. What steps can we take to foster a similar attitude of humility and reverence in our relationship with God? Readiness to serve, the seraphim are always ready to act at God's command. How can we cultivate a heart that is always prepared to serve and respond to God's calling? Proclaiming God's holiness, the seraphim's cry of, holy, 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 reminds us of the importance of acknowledging and proclaiming God's holiness in our lives. How can we better understand and share this aspect of God's nature with others? 6. The Impact of God's Presence The smoke filling the temple is a powerful symbol of God's presence. Throughout the Bible, smoke often represents God's overwhelming presence, as seen with the Israelites at Mount Sinai. This vision emphasizes that God's presence isn't just a concept but a tangible reality that impacts everything it touches. How can we seek and recognize God's presence in our lives? What changes when we truly experience and acknowledge His presence? 7. Our Response to God's Holiness Understanding God's holiness changes our perspective on worship, sin, and our daily lives. Worship becomes a heartfelt response rather than a routine, sin is seen as an affront to God's nature, and every action and decision is influenced by our recognition of God's supreme holiness. What changes can we make in our lives to align more closely with God's holiness? How can we ensure that our worship is genuine and heartfelt? The vision of Isaiah 6 verses 1 to 7 offers us a profound glimpse into the heavenly realms and reveals the nature of true worship and the holiness of God. Through the seraphim, we learn about continuous worship, humility, readiness to serve, and the importance of proclaiming God's holiness. Isaiah's encounter also highlights God's grace and the transformative power of His presence. As we reflect on this passage, let's strive to emulate the seraphim's devotion and let our lives be a continuous act of worship. Let's approach God with reverence and humility, always ready to serve, and never forgetting the significance of His holiness. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Isaiah's vision. If you enjoyed this video and want to explore more profound insights into scripture, don't forget to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. How does this vision impact your understanding of God's holiness? What steps can you take to deepen your worship and service to God? Until next time, may you be filled with the same fiery passion for God that the seraphim embody. Keep seeking, keep exploring, and keep growing in your faith.